Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reverse a clip in Final Cut Pro. Uh, let's run that back. Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, whoa, deja vu. I'm gonna share with you how to use the Retime Editor to reverse a clip, and then in that same menu, we're gonna try out the rewind effect. Let's go check that out. All right, so we're gonna take a look at reversing clips in Final Cut Pro, and here we are. We got some dominoes here, and it's just a cascade of dominoes falling over. We're gonna trim that down so that we can just see right where they're all falling down. All right, so we're simply gonna to come to this Retime Editor, and in here, there is a option, Reverse Clip. And just like that, we've reversed a clip. Video done. But let's take a look at a few more things. We're gonna go ahead and, since we did reverse part of this, I'm gonna hold Option, drag this over. Let's see what happens if we just reverse this clip back. We can drag this back over here. Let's see what happens here. All right, we can actually find a spot that might be more interesting. Let's check this out. Very nice. Now, if you wanted to, you can even slow down. Very nice. So you can play around with the retiming and just kind of find something that really works for you. Like, let's say we want to have these dominoes fall a lot faster and slowly come back up. That's a pretty cool move. It almost looks like one of those sci-fi movies where somebody is controlling time and it like like slowly moves back, almost like Tenet. <laughs> now something happens to where you're, you've you you've lost the retime bar. It looks like, wait, is this is this reversed? Is this going faster, slower? Uh, there's a, there's a, a couple ways to bring that back. You're gonna wanna go into the retime editor and go down to the very bottom, which says show retime editor. Now you can also go with command R and that will turn that off and on. And if you want to, and, and if you want to lock in the changes that you've made with these two clips, you can right click, go to new compound clip, dominoes reverse, and boom. So now what you can do, all those, all those speed changes are baked into this compound clip. And then you can make some changes on top of that. You can add effects across the whole, uh, clip here. Just keep in mind that this compound clip creates its own timeline. So if we double click on it, you'll see it appears in here and you can make changes. And then we can use these arrow keys forward and back to go back to our main timeline. You'll see the changes reflected right here. You've got great timing. And now that you're here, I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, we're gonna slide on over to this other clip here. It's just a slow motion shot of this guy jumping into the water. So there's a tool that we wanna use, which is right here under range selection, but you can see you can also press the R key and that gives you this cursor. So you can drag and make a selection like that. So let's find a spot where we wanna have it reverse. Let's see from here back to there. All right, so we have that selected. Let's go to the Retime Editor, and we're gonna find the Rewind option. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna take this clip, this selection that we've made, and it's going to rewind it and play it again uh, at one of these speeds. So let's go ahead and try it at one time speed and see what happens here. As you can see, it created multiple sections of this clip. So basically it plays forward here, then it plays backwards, then it plays back again. It's 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 almost like a like a slingshot type effect where it just kind of goes, rewinds, and then is back again. So that's it with at one time. Let's go ahead and try the same thing, but we'll go double time. So you can see this clip here is the is the reverse clip. So you can see the arrows pointing to the left, also have a different color. Final cut really helps you make sense of what's going on here. So let's go ahead and play this back and see. Very nice. 
get rid of that change, and then we'll go back in and try that last speed. Let's see how that goes. Four times. Let's play this back. Very nice. Now I wanna adjust that just a little bit. Pull that back a little bit more since it's doing a lot more with that rewind. Let's go back to the four times, play it back. Much better. Sometimes you just gotta take a little bit of time to finesse your edit just to get the right effect you're looking for. So in addition to those changes we've made, we can also grab these endpoints here and control the speed. If we want that first clip to go a little faster going into the water and then slow coming back, we could do that. There's a lot of different things. You can even go past four times and make this go a lot faster. Lots of control that you have at your fingertips to make some really cool changes with your video. So we've looked at how we can reverse a clip as well as use a rewind effect that automatically gives us almost like an instant replay um, slingshot kind of effect with time. So we've taken a look at reversing a clip as well as setting up a rewind effect through the retime editor. And with that, we reach the end. Thanks for tagging along. Great Scott! Now that you've learned how to reverse a clip in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to create an intro in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.